you suffer from the debilitating symptoms of chronic pain, swelling, and loss of joint motion due to arthritis? Are you taking drugs like Celebrex and Vioxx or other super aspirin prescriptions? If you are, you're increasing the risk of heart attack and stroke by up to 50%. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, host of Dr. Tom Rosell Live Sundays at 12 noon. Why live with pain or the dangerous side effects of drugs when the doctors at the Rosell Center for Healing practicing 21st century integrative medicine can help you experience relief like never before? Simple, safe, chiropractic, acupuncture, and nutritional care can provide significant relief from arthritic pain in less than six weeks. More than 70% of our patients experience a return to life far beyond their expectations. Give yourself the best gift possible, freedom from arthritic pain, naturally. Call today to schedule an appointment. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellcare.com. Dr. Tom Rosell live right now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. This is Dr. Tom Rosell live in studio. It's one of those days we're going to ship the, the topic around on you a little bit and give you some information and data that can really ultimately change everything about your health, your wellness quotient, and so forth. Our number here at the studio is 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. Love to talk to you on any subject that you have in mind. We have a very interesting presentation for you today and a guest from out of town, and he is out of town. He is in Pueblo, Colorado, an amazing doctor, an author, uh, a tremendous researcher and lecturer, Dr. Scott Cuthbert. He will be on with us in a few minutes, and we're going to be talking about applied kinesiology. That's the specialty that those of you who know me that we practice in our, our office. It really takes into tandem all of those things that can possibly go wrong with you. It answers the question, why is that? Why do things happen? And we're going to explain that in detail. But I also want to let you know that this afternoon I will be at the Bethesda, Maryland Hyatt, uh, not Hyatt, Bethesda, Maryland Marriott Hotel, and I'll be doing a brief presentation at 1 or 2 o'clock. So if you'd like to uh, say hello, come by and listen. I'm going to be talking about the triad of health. I'm going to be talking about ageless health, wellness, how really to put together the whole thing. It's about a 50-minute presentation, 55-minute. It's in conjunction with the pathway conference that's going on there. So it's open to the public. It's uh, You'll see all kinds of uh, alternative care types of things from the kind of work that we do to biological dentists, some functional neurologists. You'll see some crystals and books and uh, different types of modalities, uh, massage therapists. And it's kind of an interesting, uh, interesting day. So Join me. I'd love to meet you. I'd love to say hello to you. Please come up and uh, introduce yourself to me. I will be there, and the presentation starts at 2 p.m., so please join me. I'd like to also welcome again our Richmond listeners from WLEE. Welcome aboard, and let your friends know about Dr. Tom Rizal Live. We're here to bring you the most intimate and up-to-date information that we possibly can. Before we start with Dr. Kuthber, I want to talk to you about something that's been in the news, and you've heard me talk about repetitively over time, and it's called aspirin. And here's the deal. You know, so many of you, matter of fact, one-third of all middle-aged Americans take aspirin daily to prevent heart attacks and strokes, and that's kind of your doctor's regime. At age 50 or above, you start you know, taking this nonsense. Well, most of this use is prescribed by your physicians, and a lot of you say, well, I might as well take it, so you go out and do it yourself, and it's 81 milligrams. The main problem with aspirin, even a, a low-dose child's aspirin, is the increased risk of serious, serious gastrointestinal bleeding, and it happens more often than we want to think about. Almost a third of you will experience that. An internal bleed is a serious type of situation in many, in many conditions. And if you've not heard a heart attack or a stroke, the potential benefits from aspirin is so minor, so inconsequential, that it's not worth the risk. And I want you to go to Dr. Bruce West. Uh, he's the founder of a very interesting newsletter called Health Alert, and you can get all kinds of information on that. He's, uh, you know, speaks the same language that I do, and you'll find this extremely well uh, put, and the information is well documented. Having said that, I'd like to welcome a very dear friend, somebody who I've known for many years. He's on the executive board for the International College of Applied Kinesiology. As I said earlier, he's a brilliant researcher, tremendous author, a great friend, but more exceptionally, a great clinician. Dr. Scott, are you there? 
Yes, I am. Hey, buddy, thank you. I'm glad that you had the time to uh, hook up with us today. We're we're uh, talking about the things that we normally talk about, the relationship of the triad of health and how it affects uh, people. And it answers, really truly answers the question, why is that? Why things happen in our health, whether it's a headache, back pain, whether it's cancer, any of those things is about that interplay of those three stresses. What I want to ask you, Scott, is we get going, and you just, you, you know, obviously just published uh, two new textbooks, and I know you're in the process of writing another one on applied kinesiology, and uh, they're pretty much directed for docs and practitioners within the field. But nevertheless, let's talk about the intimacies, if we, if you want to, about, you know, what applied kinesiology really is. How would you explain it to our listeners? How would you explain it so, you know, they can really get it and not, you know, talking to somebody like me? Well, when you, uh, uh talk about your work in uh, Washington uh, and you have people coming from all over the country to see you, you're always talking about the triad of health and is there a way to show patients and the clinician who's examining the patient how all these factors interact, chemical factors, chemical imbalances, structural imbalances, uh, energetic imbalances, psycho-emotional or, you know, uh, how you feel, how do all these things affect your health? And applied kinesiology offers us a way to literally measure that every single time the patient enters the office. <clears throat> so, a kind of scientific uh, dowsing rod that allows the doctor with real reliability um, to tell the patient and to find out for himself what is really wrong with this person in the most comprehensive way possible. Very few people go to a doctor and have an acupuncture analysis or have a biochemical analysis or have a psychological analysis or have a complete musculoskeletal analysis, all from one system, one uh, technology. And applied kinesiology offers that to doctors who are willing to study it uh, in, in its completeness. And uh, it offers us, uh, as you do in your, in your clinic, an astonishing tool uh, that takes you far beyond what normal complementary and alternative medical providers can offer. Scott, my question and questions that we get all all the time uh, addressed to how we do what we do and oh my god that's amazing how did you know that and we're using a muscle function test as a dividing rod if you will to look at other things that's why it's called applied kinesiology kinesiology meaning neuromuscular responses when you test muscles but that applied piece that it's application to other systems how would you explain that to other people in a legitimate way that they can get it well, I always tell patients that the sensory system, the thing that is hurting, the thing that brings you into my office, is related intimately with the motor system. Sixty percent of your body weight is muscular. And because of this intimate connection, anything that's wrong, anything your own nervous system can feel, and many times patients have problems that they're not even feeling yet, but every time there's a sensory imbalance in the body, there's a motor malfunction, which, if tested, can be found by the doctor and then felt by the patient during the examination. And so sensory motor imbalances are always the precursor to diseases. In chiropractic, we have a long tradition of just talking about dis, dash, ease before disease occurs. And dis, ease, the kind of things you can catch preventatively and prevent patients from going on to full-blown diseases, is something that the muscle test can determine because the sensory system, which is the nervous system's, you know, uh, sensors, uh, is intimately related to the motor system. And so every time a part of the body is hurting. Every time a part of the body is imbalanced, it shows up in some way in the muscle system. That's what our textbooks are about. The the evidence now, uh, the scientific evidence published in peer-reviewed, index medicus, top-of-the-line research journals, completely confirms uh, what we have been saying in applied kinesiology forever, which is that the sensory motor system is the driver of uh, diseases, and that if you can really read it carefully and clearly, uh, you'll have a great advantage in helping your patients find problems and fix them um, in all their complexity long before they ever uh, become diseased or pathological. You know, the, the neuromuscular system truly is the, the framework which everything else is built upon, because without that, nothing is going to take place, nothing's going to work. And the the presence of that also, once you understand, and to use your words, once you know how to read that, but it's a mirroring, if you will, of all the mechanisms that are going on inside. The yeah. neurological system is the expression of end product of many things. So if you learn how to read, and we do that through neuromuscular testing, but it has to be done properly. Let me ask you a question, because there's a lot of people out there, we have, you know, we have... Uh, 
Uh, now with our Richmond audience, we probably have something in the neighborhood of about 22,000 people that listen to Dr. Tom Rosell live every Sunday. How would you, you know, you begin to talk about applied kinesiology as opposed to kinesiology, opposed to uh, BK, behavioral kinesiology, and all those other offshoots that are out there? What's the difference? Is there uh, one legitimacy that does not allow the others to present equally? How would you get through that dividing rod? It's difficult, but the primary system that we use, that is the founding system, the one that began it all, it comes from a single individual named George Goodhart, who was a very famous clinician whose father was an osteopath who uh, was a very eclectic um, childhood. And Dr. Goodhart learned about many different systems of healing. In fact, he was one of the first to ever write in the chiropractic profession about acupuncture. In 1967, he published an article, Chinese Lessons for Modern Chiropractic, and he showed that acupuncture system can actually be a very important force in neuromuscular malfunction, which acupuncturists have known for a long time. In fact, in our textbook, one of the uh, most interesting chapters uh, is an update on the uh, myofascial system, 60 to 70% of the body weight, being a way of transmitting this energy in acupuncture called Qi. And um, once you understand that the muscle system is very much connected to the energetic system of the body, as it's connected to the chemical, the neurological, the emotional, and the structural system, then you know that the muscle test becomes an absolutely um, brilliant and reliable, reliable way of testing these imbalances, for instance, in acupuncture. But, but, apply, but apply, apply, apply kinesiology yeah. is not just a muscle pull-down test. It's just no, not, not stick your arm out there and hold it. It's a very specific, definitive test Absolutely. when you're testing. And the, most, the work that we do all stems from... Uh, a couple guys called Kendall and Kendall with very basic, very straightforward neuromuscular connections, and we've taken that. And what Dr. Goodhart did, and I had the uh, the pleasure, I had the honor of knowing uh, Dr. Yeah. George uh, very well, and he treated my son years ago. And the man was brilliant. He he practiced up until he died at 90 years old. The the intimacies of these things that we do, the connections. Dr. Goodhart was a tremendous observer. And, you know, unfortunately, one of the things that he found in his research was at the cost of his first wife's life. Uh, she was dying of cancer. They didn't know where the original source was, but he kept, and he was trying to help her with the pain patterns. He kept finding a pectoralis major sternal division muscle. Uh, one of the chest muscles weakened on her, and they couldn't figure it out, couldn't figure it out. But afterwards on autopsy, they found out that, in fact, that the origin of all this was liver function. And we know today that the pectoralis major sternal muscle relates to the liver relative to the associations that we're talking about. Yeah. It's, uh, it's amazing to me how, and I'm humbled by many of our predecessors and how they were able to intertwine these things. Scott, let me ask you a, a, a question relative to the book and, you know, the, obviously between you and the research that we're doing, applied kinesiology is taking on a very new position, a very new framework in not only chiropractic profession, but in any of the professions uh, that want to have a more intimate view of the body. And yeah. so uh, how how do you tell a physician? How do you talk to a doctor? How do one of our listeners say to the doctor, listen, you know, you really need to know more about this? And, you know, this shows up. My doctor, I went and he he, he checked these muscles and he, he watched me walk and he, you know, checked my neurology out and he said, I have my immune system been suffering. I have a thyroid problem. I have diabetes. I've got about 50 seconds for you to answer that, and then we've got to take a break. <laughs> well, we call it body language <clears throat> body language in applied kinesiology, and just as every sensory problem has a motor manifestation, every, of every condition of the body has a kind of postural pattern, which can be observed. Acupuncturists uh, observe it on the tongue and in the pulses. Applied kinesiologists observe it by an intimate examination of the muscular system. And the muscular system is intimately connected to every single nerve in the body, and therefore any nerve imbalances, the thing that drives human life, any nerve imbalances will show up in a muscular malfunction. But real quickly, I think Dr. Goodhart was the key to understanding AK versus all the other kinesiologists. Scott, you got, you got to hold that thought. We're coming okay, up to a hard sure, break, yeah. and don't go away. We're going to come back, and we're going to finish that pro thought process. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rizal live. Don't go away. We'll be right back after these messages. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, author of Ageless Health, Health is a Do-It-Yourself Program. 
My book, now also available in audio version, is a step-by-step -step program of how to take control of your health and wellness without drugs or needless surgery. You have the capacity to change your health and level of well-being. Take control of your health today and order Health Is a Do-It-Yourself Program. For more information and to order, please visit agelesshealthbook.com. That's agelesshealthbook.com. Educate. Engage. Empower. Take control of your health with Dr. Tom Roselle and the Roselle Center for Healing. Information is power. Achieve an ultimate state of wellness with Dr. Tom Roselle's Education Lecture Series Video On Demand. Discover how to create an extraordinary life of optimal health and wellness. Visit drtomrosellecom slash education. That's drtomrosellecom slash education. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Rozell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rozell live in studio, 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. Love to talk to you on any subject you have in mind. We're discussing applied kinesiology with a brilliant researcher, doctor, clinician, good friend of mine. He's on the executive board of the International College of Applied Kinesiology, Dr. Scott Cuthbert. Scott, are you still there? Yes, sir. Okay, buddy, let's uh, get into this a little bit more because applied kinesiology really is, and hopefully uh, if we have from, uh, from our listeners specific questions on the subject that they uh, would like to ask, they'll give us a call and you know, we'll entertain those. But more, more importantly, we're, we're, you and I are involved in a science and art of applied kinesiology that is a specialty group that was uh, brought about by a guy by the name of Dr. George Goodhart, a brilliant, insightful human being back down 1964 is when we formally became an international college. And, matter of fact, we're celebrating 50 years next year. But this, this whole thing is like sometimes it's magical. So let's talk about, you know, a patient comes in and, you know, we, we said, how do they present this to their doctor? This, you know, you have to communicate with their, their internist. You have to communicate with their orthopedist or their neurologist. How do we explain this to them on a formal level? How do we talk to this guy and say, hey, listen, check this out on your, your patient because they're not going to heal? Yes. There's so many ways to do that now with the, uh, with the state of um, uh, the Internet and the ability to search research articles, not uh, blog postings and so on. But if you search for research, uh, research articles and index referee journals that are managed by the best clinicians and researchers in the world, there's now over 55 papers on applied kinesiology just in those journals. There's about 100 more in refereed journals. It just so happens I've created a website that lists all of them, including the links, so that you can read the articles in full. It's called Applied Kinesiology Research dot blog, uh, dot com. Applied Kinesiology Research dot com. But the, the and this is the key difference between applied kinesiology and almost every other system that's derived from it. Dr. Bithart was primarily a clinical researcher who was very interested in incorporating applied kinesiology into the latest neurophysiological science of the time. And that's what's happened in these recent textbooks and in previous applied kinesiology textbooks. Unlike many other systems, which are not writing anything but um, uh, other forms of applied kinesiology, sort of the, the minor forms about how to do it, we're writing about the science of it, why it works. This is the neurophysiological evidence behind applied kinesiology. And that's the difference between our group and almost all the others. First, we're only made of doctors people who are certified to diagnose and treat, people who have had over 3,500 hours of education in diagnosis and treatment of patients, and um, our, our uh, organization is primarily driven by researchers. We've got, since 1964, um, uh, literally hundreds of thousands, uh, hundreds and thousands of articles about the applied kinesiology approach, outcome studies, basic research, basic science studies. And the uh, International College of Applied Kinesiology has recently hired the most famous researcher in chiropractic, a man named Anthony Rosner, Ph.D., a Harvard researcher, former um, leader of the Foundation for Chiropractic Education and Research. And Dr. Rosner is leading applied kinesiology into the future so that, as you say, we can be at the cutting edge and the sort of the center of all that's happening in complementary, uh, complementary and alternative medicine in which acupuncture nutrition, um, musculoskeletal dysfunction, joint dysfunction, psychosocial problems are all investigated by the same clinician. One doctor can treat all problems. 
or have a piece of all the of all the problems that a patient might present. At least, at least be intimately uh, conjoined well, with other practitioners as a primary in restoring yeah. health and allowing people to really understand that they need to be a partner and that there is a why is that there are things that have happened over a period of time that brought them to that place and you know when we talk about that just kind of empirically the the truth of it is is that where people are at this moment in time is because of all the decisions that they've made up until now the beauty of about applied kinesiology is that it shows and answers the question how it happened that's right and that's right. you know and, go ahead and the cost effectiveness the cost effectiveness, when you realize that, um, you know, in the United States, 60% of the personal bankruptcy filings uh, are related to medical bills. When you realize that acetaminophen, when you buy it in a hospital, like you just talked about aspirin earlier, they have a $10,000, a 10,000% markup on acetaminophen. Um, when the room and board in a hospital for just one day is $3,000, it's astonishing when you realize the difference in cost between an applied kinesiology visit or a series of visits. Maybe that takes five or six visits to sort out a problem. That that and then one day at a hospital or one, you know, hour at an emergency room. The country is going bankrupt because of the cost of medical care. <laughs> and applied kinesiology offers a system which integrates so many different systems of medical care and offers it at a very low price. The average chiropractor spends about or charges patients about eight hundred dollars for a very severe uh, low back. Um, it's very right. straight up, particularly if it's acute. Uh, Dr. Scott, we're coming yeah. up to a break and the, the news from ABC, so we've got to put a, a bookmark in this. We're going to come right back, and we're going to continue the process. I want to talk to you a little bit about your new books out and why you did them and what they mean to our field. Don't go away. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. If you're looking for the best in natural health, wellness, and green living products, shop the Roselle Web Store on Amazon.com you'll find a variety of products and resources that are designed to help achieve an ultimate state of health and wellness. Shop the Roselle Web Store on Amazon.com today. Visit DrTomRoselle.com and click on Roselle Web Store. That's DrTomRoselle.com and click on Roselle Web Store. Breast cancer is a major health risk to all women. It can silently grow uninterrupted for years. Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rosell, host of Dr. Tom Rosell Live, reminding all women to conduct monthly and annual breast exams. Also consider a thermography scan from the thermography centers as an adjunct to your routine breast exams. Thermographic imaging can detect abnormalities years before a mammogram, and it's safe and non-invasive. For more information, call 888-485-7736 or visit thermographycenters.com. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell live in studio, 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. Love to talk to you on any subject you have in mind. We're always here to bring you the most intimate and updated information on integrative and alternative therapies without drugs, without surgery. Your Health is a Do-It-Yourself program, which is the title of my book, Ageless Health. You need to embrace those concepts and apply them to yourself simply because it gives you the fundamental pathway of turning virtually anything around. It's based on the concepts of applied kinesiology, which we're talking about this afternoon and talking about it very specifically to an expert, a tremendous researcher, Dr. Scott Cuthbert out of Pueblo, Colorado. Dr. Scott, you still there? Yes, sir. So let's talk a little bit more, my friend. Let's talk about your books and uh, you know why you wrote them and what the application is. Obviously, we've had two tremendous, three tremendous textbooks uh, by Dr. David Walters that is the basis, the Bible of what we do in applied kinesiology. And you've taken that, but you know, also fair to say that you bought uh, after his uh, death, you bought his practice and his works and so forth, and you've come up with two phenomenal books. I've had the pleasure of reading them, and you know, let's talk about those a little bit. Happy to do it. Uh, I moved to uh, Colorado from Ireland. I was practicing in Galway, Ireland, for nine months, and uh, David Walder and the work of applied kinesiology um, really appealed to me. So I came to learn from the master. And after about five years, Dr. Walder realized that I might have something. Um, I had a, um, I've been a writer for many years before I got into chiropractic, and then I became much more of a clinical researcher in about 2006 and started to publish a lot of Index Medicus top-level research papers on applied kinesiology covering asthma in children, covering uh, learning disabilities, uh, covering urinary incontinence, all kinds of uh, subject matter. 
And uh, so Dr. Walder, at the end of his life, thought, why don't we keep this guy here to continue the work that I've been doing? He'd written some of the canonical texts, the basic texts of applied kinesiology, which tried to make all the methods that we use in our clinics um, scientifically valid. In other words, is there an explanation for what we're doing in the scientific literature, the kind of literature that's produced by researchers in universities and government hospitals? And there is such uh, evidence, and that's what these two textbooks do. It takes us 20, about 20 years forward from the last uh, major expression of the uh, scientific relationship um, of research to the applied kinesiology approaches, and almost every system of healing needs to be updated every decade in a fundamental way. And these textbooks are ways of updating um, the uh, evidence for and the reasons behind applied kinesiology work, which is useful for many people who use muscle testing. It's not just applied kinesiologists. We do it best, but there's many, many other groups out there who use muscle testing to diagnose and treat patients because the muscle system is so expressive of nervous system malfunction. Neurologists know that. Um, physical therapists know that. Um, many, many types of clinicians know that. And um, well, the book is so in, the title of your book is very interesting to me. It's you know simply applied kinesiology essentials, the missing link in healthcare, and it truly yeah. is. It is the missing link. It is. It's one that begins to bring together many different systems of care under a, a, an umbrella that has a very specific dividing rod, as we've talked about, the neuromuscle muscle test and the observation of the body in motion, because if it's in motion, you can see what the body is doing, how, what its adaptations are, the idiosyncrasies that it have, and so forth. You talked a little bit about uh, chi or ki, and yeah. the body is nothing more than energetics on many different levels, from the nervous system itself to the energetic pathways of... of uh, the uh, acupuncture system and other things that connect us to everything else that's in the body. But yes. in your book, it's very highly illustrated. It's extremely evidence-based. And this is a book that's not only for doctors and practitioners, but it can be really understood and well-read by uh, the layman as well. Absolutely. And because there's so many people who know that applied kinesiology offers them a way of integrating so many different systems of healing. Uh, it allows them to test the acupuncture system, to test the craniosacral system, to test the relationship of the foot, let's say, to TMJ malfunction. Whatever system, we all know that um, there's a relationship sometimes between a pronated foot and an upper neck or headache problem, but how do you test that? How do you show both clinician and patient that there's a problem? Well, the muscle test allows you to do that immediately. Um, there are so many ways that the muscle system can make evident to a doctor or a patient what is going on and the astonishing connections that we bring about in patients is one of the reasons why we are so successful and since 1976 the International College of Applied Kinesiology has been publishing outcome studies that have shown how doctors using applied kinesiology heal patients and this is the first textbook in, in my opinion that has fully covered all of that data on top of all the other scientific evidence and brought the entire evidence base for applied kinesiology up to date so that you can go to one book and find in it all the studies that show this and that occur for patients when they're treated using applied kinesiology methods. And so it's, it's a must-have for people who use muscle testing or who use portions of the applied kinesiology approach. Otherwise, you're really... Um, an uninformed citizen in your own empire or, you know, your own country. Dr. Scott, you know the data, you're in trouble. Your second book, Applied Kinesiology, uh, Clinical Techniques for uh, Lower Body Dysfunction, it's a very, very uh, insightful book. It allows uh, the clinician to really apply some principles, uh, turn low back problems around immediately, but also the structures that are embracing all of that. It's a book that uh, several of my patients uh, have gone online and checked out and and they've said that, you know, they don't understand at all, but the pieces that they do understand have helped them dramatically. Everything from uh, how the body mechanically works, but also how they can uh, do certain things preventatively. And they come back and they say, why doesn't everybody do this? Why don't other doctors do this kind of work? And right. therein lies the problem. That's the problem. It's, it's the complexity uh, and the precision required to be a diagnostician rather than somebody who just, uh, has a cookbook method for treatment. Um, and again, the connection between a foot and a jaw, the connection between a foot and a hip, the connection between a foot and uh, headaches, is no, it can't be demonstrated by any other system. 
but the applied kinesiology or manual muscle testing approach. And that last book uh, that you just mentioned also has a very large chapter on systemic conditions of the lower body. All those things like, uh, you know, cystitis and um, urinary incontinence and, um, you know, muscle cramping in the legs and every type of irritable bowel, inflammatory bowel disease, all these things are covered from an evidence-based perspective using complementary and alternative approaches in applied kinesiology. Additionally, the textbook has about 100 pages on peripheral nerve entrapments, one of the most common causes of physical pain in our patients, uh, why their legs hurt, their feet hurt, their knees hurt. It's oftentimes a peripheral nerve entrapment that's not being diagnosed properly by um, more normal or standard uh, diagnostic methods. Dr. Scott, if our listeners are out there, and we have, as I said, many people listening, we have physicians who listen to my program all the time, yeah. and I get great notes from them, and they say, you know, I wish I had the time to study applied kinesiology and do some of the things you do. I wish I could, you know, get more involved in functional medicine. This is actually an opportunity for them to begin to understand what it is that we do. How would they find the book? Would you, you know, go to your website? Would you go to uh, Amazon? Would you go to ICAKUSA.com? How, what's the best way for them to get a hold of your book? Well, there's all, all three of those will work. The cheapest way for them will be to go to, uh, oddly enough, my publishing company. I live on the Arkansas River, and I love India, so I combine those two words into the Gangasas, <laughs> the Ganges and the Arkansas River. Anyway, uh, the publishing company is called the Gangasas Press. You better you better spell that, buddy, because you, you know even my Italian's not working with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the T H E G A N G A S A S press.com and uh, the books are available there and um, we'll ship them to them to put anyone in it immediately. Amazon has uh, um, my books there. The ICAK will connect you to my publishing house um, and they're ready to go. It's the thegangasazpress.com Easiest way for interested people to order the books and I think the books really should be uh, in schools of podiatry on top of all the other schools that use muscle testing and muscle evaluation. Well, all of our books should be in every uh, therapeutic and diagnostic curriculum throughout the entire world, and hopefully as we move forward, that's going to take place. And, you know, this I'm excited for this next year and the things that we can do as uh, the fountainhead, if you will, of applied kinesiology, the U.S. chapter, because that's where it all started. And now we have multiple branches of applied kinesiology all over the world from Russia to Europe to Australia to Canada and so forth, and it's it's sure. growing. And, you know, the interesting thing, as you know, Dr. Scott, is that outside of the U.S., the the profession that is f- uh, the fastest embrace- embracing of applied kinesiological principles are the medical physicians. Yes. You know, or outside of this country, it's like amazing. It's amazing. In Germany, they've trained 3,000 medical doctors to use applied kinesiology for functional physiopathological conditions, things that are not needing a drug or a cut. But things that hurt and cause, you know, poor lifestyle and pain, uh, those are being treated by medical doctors in Germany in a, in a great way. And there's many um, German writers who've uh, used the applied kinesiology developed in the United States to uh, take it further. And uh, they're a fascinating group of medical doctors. And there are many dentists. Uh, University of Tufts in Boston uses uh, applied kinesiology's methods of muscle testing for diagnosing dental problems. There's so many different schools that are derived from our work because we're the center and still the primary uh, workers in this area, uh, this is where people need to come to uh, restore their understanding of applied kinesiology and improve their clinical uh, finesse. You know, Dr. David Leaf, who is the current chairman of the International College of Applied Kinesiology, yeah. has, done, has spent many trips uh, in Russia presenting our work, but at a sports injury type of level, and they ab- embrace it and are using it and applying it, you know, not only with patients that come in, but they're top-shelf athletes. You know, in Russia, as we know, is very proud of, of uh, who they put on the competitive playing field, and the results yes. are magnificent. It's well-received. And the number of uh, applied kinesiology physicians who've been on professional sports teams, I was on the Galway Tribesman in uh, Galway, Ireland for a year, uh, Evan Maladnoff, your dear friend, uh, the Kansas City professional uh, football teams, uh, Daniel Duffy and the Cleveland Indians. That there's just been so many applied kinesiologists who have been in, at the center of sports medicine in the United States is just not known by the uh, broader public. And that's another reason that people need to come to learn from and read these books, but also come to the ICAK and find out what we're doing and why we can make claims like this. Are we just out of our minds, or is it really happening? And 
of course, you and I know it really is happening. You know, they can go to they can go to icakusa.com, which is the, the United States chapter of the International College of Applied Kinesiology, or as we affectionately call it, the Fountainhead, because that's where it all started. And check that site out. See what it is that we really do. You can go to my website. Go to drtomrosell.com, D-R-T-O-M-R-O-S-E-L-L-E, and check out, because all the things that we do are embracing of the triad, structural, chemical, emotional, the five factors and the things that we do to answer the question, why is that? This is really 20th century, 21st century, I'm sorry, I'm dating myself, 21st century cutting edge stuff and yeah. not to utilize it, not to, to utilize it as a patient, to embrace it yeah. yourself, to apply the principles yourself is foolhardy because in today's medical arena, you must take control of your wellness paradigm. That's right. There's an Italian word, uh, Latin really, but it's called Leomo Universale. And That's the right. universal physician, the teacher who, uh, teach, who, ha- who covers all subjects. This is something that happens in applied kinesiology in a very unique way, and it allows us to fulfill the beginning of that dream that the earliest physicians have had from the beginning of time, which is to treat the entire patient in a very, very reliable way. Have something to, to do and some way of knowing what is going on in our patients. And applied kinesiology is a unique way of seeing the whole patient uh, very quickly with muscle testing. You know, years ago, when I first got into practice, uh, applied kinesiology was like the furthest thing from my brain. It was not something that I wanted anything to do with. And yeah. simply because I was a very straight, structural guy, I did a lot of nutrition, I did some acupuncture, I did some physiotherapeutics, and, you know, I said, I, I don't need this stuff. But then I got introduced to a guy by the name of Dr. Stanley Wizarek out of Rochester, New York. He's n- no longer with us, unfortunately. Brilliant, intuitive healer, but also a master and a diplomat from the International College of Applied Kinesiology. And I saw things happen that just totally blew my mind. People were able to get better again. We've had patients who come in who are cancer patients, patients who have come into the office, you know, who've had neurological degenerative diseases like MS and Parkinson's and so forth, and been able to dramatically help these people using the principles of neuromuscular response. Dr. Scott, we're going to be coming up for another hard break here pretty quickly, but when we come back, I want to kind of wrap this up. We'll have a couple of minutes just to kind of talk about your book again for a minute and why applied kinesiology is so important and all the things that we do, because it is critical. It's essential. You and I are going to make a difference this year, and we're not going to talk about what that's all about, but we're going to take another step forward in the expansion and the development of applied kinesiology. Don't go away. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell live in studio, 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. Always like to talk to you on any aspect of healing, he- healing you and helping you along the way. You can get a hold of us here or you can get a hold of us off the air at drtomrosell.com, D-R-T-O-M-R-O-S-E-L-L-E. Dot com. Send me a note. I always respond, and it may take me a day or two, but I will get back to you. As you can imagine, there's a lot of email that comes in after our programs, but nevertheless, we try to make it as intimate as we possibly can. Our guest today has been Dr. Scott Cuthbert, practicing out of Pueblo, Colorado, a brilliant researcher, doctor, clinician, author of two amazing books on applied kinesiology. And Dr. Scott, let's wrap it up a little bit. We've only got a short time, so about a minute or so. Um, you know, what would you like to? What impression would you like to leave with people relative to applied kinesiology? I'd say for all your listeners, and your show, by the way, is just brilliant. I listen to it every uh, Sunday myself. It's on, you know, it's being influential, influential throughout the country, really, by uh, alternative physicians. So, I'd say that the listeners of Thank your you, show sir. are interested in alternative medical approaches. If you want to have uh, more understanding of a system that allows you to include within it all of the complementary and alternative medical approaches and its latest scientific update, why it works and why it's done, how acupuncture relates to muscles, how craniosacral uh, problems relate to muscles, then these books are essential for you. The Meridian System and Applied Kinesiology, uh, all the updated new AK research and its application, the functional problems, um, uh, just the expanded coverage of that uh, 45 years of uh, applied kinesiology uh, research and ongoing uh, evidence um, can present to, to the reader is there in these books. It's all waiting to be absorbed and to change fundamentally complementary and alternative medicine so that 
everything that we know about uh, health, maintenance, uh, wellness, lifestyle, and prevention can be employed by a physician who uses this system of care, which uh, incorporates all the other systems of health care within it. Obviously, if you and I had anything to do with it, applied kinesiologists would be the primary care portal of entry into the health care system because it would save so many people from all types of things. Dr. Scott, thanks, my friend. I really appreciate your time. You and I will talk before the day's out. I'll give you a call a little bit later. But thank you for your time and your insight and your brilliance. It's, uh, It's always a genuine pleasure to speak with you. Appreciate it. Talk to you soon. 888-630-9625 is how you find us here every week, and how you find us off-air is drtomrozell.com. And this afternoon, if you'd like to join me, I'm doing a presentation at the Pathway event in Bethesda, Maryland. I'll be at the Bethesda Marriott Conference Center, and it's on Marinelli Road in North Bethesda. My presentation starts at... 2 p.m. So come on by, say hello. It's real quick and introduce yourself. Tell me that you listen to the program. Love to have you part of what we do because what we do is always for you. We're trying to give you the most informative, the most practical, the most applicable information that we possibly can all the time. We'll see you next week with more information and more things that you can apply on a day-to-day basis. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. I'll see you then. Bye. Are you dental phobic? Do you neglect your dental health because of fear and anxiety? A beautiful smile begins with exceptional dental care, and you can trust in the expertise of Soft Touch Dental Care and Dr. Michael Chung. Soft Touch Dental Care is unlike any dentist office you'll ever experience. Their warm and welcoming environment is designed to soothe fears and anxiety the moment you arrive, and they're especially pleased to pamper their honored guest patients. Dr. Michael Chung is a professional and leading expert in all areas of comprehensive dentistry, including cosmetic, sedation, neuromuscular, TMJ, and implant dentistry. Offering state-of-the-art technology, Dr. Chung can give you the smile of your dreams. Arrange for a complimentary consultation today with Dr. Michael Chung and experience the expertise that makes Dr. Michael Chung so unique. Call 703-319-6990. That's 703-319-6990. Or visit bestinsmile.com. That's Mm bestinsmile.com.